Hey guys, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Uh, today I wanted to show you, I have my grow tent um, basically completely set up right now. Um, I got my plants in there, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what that looked like and give you a quick update on the Venus flytraps that I planted um, a few weeks ago. So you kind of see how those are doing, the ones from Cook's Carnivores, but here we go. Let's go ahead and take a peek in there. So that's what we got from the, the view window. So let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up and uh, take a look and see what we got here. Okay. All right, so you guys probably saw the video. I, I set up my ventilation system right there. So we got the ventilation coming out of the top and out over here. I have it set on low right now. Got the air coming out. Um, since you guys saw that, I now have a fan in here um, for a little bit of extra airflow. You can see um, the typical right there. You can see it's moving a little bit, like there's a little breeze in here just to give them that extra little bit of airflow to simulate kind of having some some air in here. Uh, you see the star of the show right here is the uh, Coré uh, 1000 watt grow light. Um, I have it about a foot right now off of the, the Venus flytrap, so I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on them, uh, make sure they're acclimating correctly, you know, make sure that they're not getting too hot. Um, I have this guy here, uh, this Govee. Uh, measures my humidity and measures my temperatures. This does attach um, via Bluetooth to my phone and I can set up alerts uh, so that I can see uh, you know if it gets too high, gets too low, um, that kind of stuff. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I've already gotten a couple of alerts when the, the humidity gets too high when I leave the, my humidifier on down here. So, so it's pretty neat that I get an alert if it goes above or below something that I don't want to. Like if it gets too cold in here or gets too hot or whatever, um, I can get an alert. So really really like that link to everything um, that I showed you here to guys in the description including the tent the ventilation system the light uh, the fan all my equipment all that stuff is in the description so if you want to go check out the price of any of it uh, by all means go check it out and uh, yeah I got the pouch over here I got my pruners um, I got my tweezer kit this is for kind of trimming and cutting off the dead parts of the Venus fly traps um, I got my humidifier down here uh, now I know humidity is not tremendously important for Venus flight traps, um, but I do live in a really, really low humidity area. Uh, so I like to try to keep the humidity up around 40-50%. So I won't be using this very often, uh, but I will be using it occasionally just to try to simulate uh, the type of humidity that they get over there in North Carolina and these guys' uh, sort of natural habitat. So um, you can grow them without humidity, but the humidity is definitely going to help me just a little bit in, in getting these guys grown a little bit faster and bigger, stronger. So. Um, so you see right now I have my vents open um, and I don't, I haven't been running it long enough right now to really know um, and, and have everything down um, to see what the right balance of everything is right now. Um, so my goal really is to have this in about uh, the mid 70s ish um, with about a 40 to 50% humidity. So my humidity is looking good right now. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the temperature up just a little bit. Obviously, that'll help if I turn the fan off. Will help keep the temperature up a little bit. Um, I'm okay with 71, but I would like to see it around 73 to 75 um, if possible. I think one thing that I'm going to do is it's actually, um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, those two vents right there, it's both of those are spitting out cold AC air. Uh, because it's the middle of summer right now and it's really hot upstairs uh, but it's really cool down here so uh, down in my basement we don't really need the AC on but it's just it's just a central AC so we, we can't really turn it off down here so um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the tent over into a corner that doesn't have any AC vents uh, so that we can keep this temperature up just a little bit um, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it and kind of monitor it over the next couple days and just kind of see what it does um, you know make sure it doesn't get too high or too low I can live with 70 um, but like I said, I would like to get that a little bit higher. Um, so let's take a look from the side here to see the the Core light. The light is awesome. Um, it was super easy to put in, super easy to set up. I do have it on 100% right now, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Um, let's see if we need to put on the dimmers uh, to see if these plants start to burn or anything. If they do start to burn, then we'll go ahead and dim it just a little bit or move it up a little, um, which both things are super easy. You dim it with this guy. Uh, little dial right there um, and then if 
we need to move it up or down, we can use these guys to adjust it really, really, really easily. So putting in the light, actually it took me a lot more time to put in my fan than it did to put in the light, which is really, really funny <laughs> because the fan, I couldn't get a really good angle that I liked uh, to blow in the air on the plants, but I finally settled on, on right there kind of in one of the, the vents. But um, so yeah, so that's the, that's the setup guys. Let's go ahead and get down here and get a close up look and see how these US flight traps are doing because I did promise you an update. Probably the best lighting we're ever gonna have for these. Um, usually I have these kind of in a lowly lit room, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So here we got the typicals. So let's see the typicals, you can see they're doing pretty good. They're looking pretty healthy. They've got some new growth coming in down there, as you can see. Uh, a couple new growths there, that's awesome. Uh, they also have these kind of these little offshoots, little baby offshoots, I don't know if you can see those, but couple more here too it looks like they're coming out of a different rhizome uh, so those could be some you know if those take off those could be uh, plants that we can separate later so here we go we got the dentes they're looking really good staying really nice and green got a couple of new ones popping up there so that's beautiful uh, the maroon monster my favorite one out of this group by far it's not even close look at those colors look at that maroon and the green oh man I just love that what a beautiful plant. You can see there we got some new growth coming in on that one as well, which really makes me happy. I really wanted this one to take off and it looks like it is going to. So, oh, and here we go. Here's the, the Saracenia. So you can see, I'm gonna come down level so you can see that there's a couple that are kind of popping up there a little bit. That, that, that one popping up there wasn't there the last time I did a video for you guys. So that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about those. And then over here we have the Wallies. Again, same thing. They're getting some really good color. They're looking really, really green, really, really red. Really, really nice looking flight traps. They're, they're pretty small, but looking really healthy. Uh, got some new ones coming in. I don't know if you can see that, but if you come around the corner, you can see there's some new ones coming in there. And then the G16s. Look at the lashes on those guys. These guys are little too, but man, look at those big old lashes coming out. Those are going to be beautiful once those get a little bit bigger. Uh, same thing, got some a little bit of new growth. This one's harder to see, the growth is really tiny down there, but um, definitely got some new growth coming out on that one. So as of right now, guys, it looks like everything um, has took. Everything's putting out some new growth. Looks really healthy, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, so far, loving this this new Core uh, grow light. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them and make sure that, that nothing crazy is happening with them. But so far, definitely so good let me know if you have any questions in the comments i love to answer questions and interact with you guys so uh, thanks so much for being here make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video all that fun stuff and uh i hope to catch you guys in the next video bye